and Reevachen. Six patches. Left hand one is probably about 20 metres wide with a bit of grass on the left hand side. Right hand one's much bigger, it's more a sort of snow wreath. Probably 60, 70 metres wide. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then a big one which is probably, actually that can't be 70 metres wide, that big one's probably 200 I would yeah, guess. 200 metres wide. And then a one lower down, um, I don't know, 20, 30. And a big one under the grass which is quite hard to see. Um, but it is there under the grass and the wee one over there on the left which was there quite a few weeks ago, that's not diminished really so this is in um, the north side, northeast side of Enriavachin Merci I estimate this patch to be about oh, 200 metres long maybe by from its bottom to its top anyway certainly 20 no more like 30 metres more like 30 metres just about to test its depth Okay, I am standing at the end of the snow patch on Skurn and Clachen Gjalla. I guess I'm just doing a wee video pan around. I'd initially thought that this was about 200 metres wide, or long I should say, but I'm now thinking it's probably a good 250, maybe 270 metres. I've done some probing, my probe is 2.65 metres long and as you can see there's a flat section in the middle here and a big lip where it starts to go downhill. At the deepest point, well the deepest point is the summit if you like of the lip which is deeper than my probe. Probably not too much though, so the snow's probably about 3 metres deep at this uh, deepest point I would guess 
quite a lot receding since four weeks ago when I was last here. So um, it's got all this grass over it, as usual. And you can see just a distance there. I'll just pan in. There's another patch which is quite brown. There you go. And it's not obvious my distance at all that has snow under there, but there actually is. Looking down to Loch Tuil Vjarni, and you can see the crags there. Uh, not a place for the faint hearted, I don't think, anyway, because I nearly died here a few years ago. This, you can see how the hills, this is a big shelf, and uh, just below this, there's crags. <laughs> about to go investigate that area down there where the last time we were there was a large uh, scar called by caused by a snowfall an avalanche I should say okay This is the uh, lowest snow that I can find here, which is at 873 metres above sea level, according to my GPS. And this is right at the end of this um, mudslide, I suppose it is. But clearly underneath here, there's a lot of snow and it's extremely soft to walk on the mud that is, as you'd expect. So I'm going to make my way up through there and have fun doing so, I'm sure. Welcome to the lost world of Skurnalapi. It's quite an unsettling place because this mud is not stable and it's almost like a dry glacier. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of snow under all this. It doesn't look like that, but if you do a bit of excavating you can see there's lots of snow and then you'll see wee streams coming out here and there goes in at the top there's a huge snow patch up there at the top just absolutely massive and then all this I think has come down from there that looks to me, that looks to me like a huge snow patch at the top as well yeah I think so so, I continue my ascent of Skurnalapi by the medium of mud. Higher up now on Skurnalapi. That's all snow under there. Huge amount of snow. I'm starting to think um, maybe this is a mudslide. It's covered with snow. Initially I thought, well, all that snow lower down has come from higher up, but I'm now starting to think maybe it's been covered by this mudslide. Hard to know really, but the reason I think that is um, if you look at that snow there, it just doesn't look to me like that slid downhill. Why would it end up there? Uh, why would it not break up on top of those crags immediately above it? That's not come down as one massive block, I don't think. I think that's been covered by this mudslide. There's certainly a lot of evidence over the rocks of stuff falling down. Okay, if you look at the snow here, it's 
pretty soft and it's also layered. This stuff definitely hasn't slid down I don't think. There's no evidence that these boulders... Um, there's just no evidence of this stuff sliding. So I'm thinking this has been covered by this phenomenal mudslide. And okay, screw in the lappy. Uh, the snow's probably about two metres deep here from what I can work out. It's fairly soft on top. It goes way up there. You can probably just see right at the very top. I can't be working up there. It's starting to rain, but I think this snow has been shielded from the sun by the mud, the sun we've had this summer. The place is alive with water and sometimes falling rocks. Just amazing though, to think all this came down <laughs> where I'm standing. It's probably about 100 to 110 metres wide this here, because there's a bit behind me. That's where I was, 